bank required a billion dollar investment to stay afloat. A rough day for the parent bank of Flagstar, which nearly collapsed this afternoon after stocks tumbled. Good evening, I'm Ann Emmerich. People have money in more than 100 Flagstar banks in Michigan. The failure of New York Community Bank would have put them in a stressful situation. News 10's Jordan Burrell is live in our newsroom to tell us where things stand tonight. Hi, Jordan. Hi, Ann. This afternoon, Flagstar's parent bank, New York Community Bank, was bailed out of the collapse by former Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin, backing the bank's request for a billion dollars, keeping the business afloat and ultimately saving the people who bank with Flagstar across Michigan. A financial expert tells me this evening, for those Flagstar bankers, now is not the time to panic. A cautionary tale that banks in the U.S. know all too well after last year's shutdown of signature banks when people withdrew all of their money on the heels of the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank. It is not time to go ripping your, your money out of the bank because if everybody does that, it will fail. New York Community Bank, which owns Flagstar Bank, almost collapsed Wednesday afternoon after the Wall Street Journal released a story saying the bank was seeking much needed cash. And after the news spread, stocks dropped more than 40% over the span of the day, all because the bank didn't have the billion dollars it was supposed to have. They got to a point where they are below the reserves they need as a bank of their size to maintain the appropriate ratios. There's laws in place to protect consumers and the laws are there to say if banks don't maintain certain levels of reserves, then they go under. But for now, Flagstar bankers don't have to worry about their money and their ability to get it when they need it. Uh, the FDIC and the federal government stepped in to say it's not the, the customer's fault that the bank screwed up its books and that the bank went backwards on some things. So our government does a pretty good job in those moments of stepping in to say, no, 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 we're going to protect the consumer. We're going to hold the bankers accountable. As of now, things seem to be okay with Flagstar and their parent company. After they received the billion dollars, stocks pretty much rebounded back to where they were before. Live in the newsroom, I'm Jordan Burrell, News 10.